Hello everybody, before today's vlog, I just want to share with you a news that I just seen. Uh, you know, sometimes justice, justice takes time, but when it comes, it comes in big force. And this is what I'm talking about. Remember this guy? The guy that started, uh, the guy that his actions start the Me, Me Too movement. Yeah, this man. Harvey Weinstein was sentenced to 23 years in jail. 23 years. You know, uh, sometimes I don't understand. Is, is that so difficult to have a normal life like everybody, be a Hollywood produ producer, not creating problems with the people that work uh, with him, with the actresses, with the... Uh, so the makeup artists with I don't know so many so many that works uh, with these guys so big productions you know these big productions I don't understand is that difficult just to have uh, a normal life uh, with your co-workers not trying to harass harass uh, anyone. You know, uh, this man just took what he deserved, and uh, I, I, I must admit, I, I feel no sorry for this guy. Uh, I think that the only situation that I criticize here is the time that this took to to happen. So we are talking about uh, I don't know, uh, two years, three years. And uh, you know, last time I saw I saw in the news a guy was w was needing help to walk and things like that. So uh, he lost all his fortune, and I once again I must admit I'm not sorry for that because he he has done it. But you know, sometimes I think it's just too long when there is uh, too. Uh, not too many people, but there was a lot of people uh, talking about this man and uh, and having uh, something against him, and with proofs and with people proving that he was harassing uh, his co-workers, that was harassing his um, is uh, his workers, but basically not just co work, but people working for his son. You know, I'm just scrolling to show you the or the new the news in the overall, and uh, you know, you know more than a hundred women, famous actresses, uh, accusing Weinstein of mi sexual misconduct. Come on. A hundred women, this is nonsense, a hundred women, man, this, this this guy thought he was what, who, Casanova? I, I don't understand, man, we have to be realistic, of course that this is the way that he looks today, but even though three or four years ago, was he looking better? I don't know, of course, I'm, I'm not here to criticize uh, looks, if people look better or look worse, that's not my job here, uh, I'm just having some comments and sh showing you what is going on and what I think about this, but come on, uh, more than a hundred women, more than a hundred, this is, this is too much, this is too much, so... One, one good thing we can take out of this was the start of the Me, the Me Too movement because it, it, made, it made people not being afraid anymore of speaking about these situations and uh, name, name those who, who done something horrible like sexual harassment, uh, like naming the the people and uh, taking 
taking those people to justice. So, of course, this is a very poor, bad situation, but it has a good thing. And so many people came outside to speak about this. The social media was frenetic about this, uh, with so many people speaking about this situation, uh, speaking about their their stories, uh, and I think that it has brought to us a wider perspective and a bigger conscien consciousness about this situation. So it's uh, it's a good thing that uh, that this happened happen and uh, I just hope I really hope that in the future uh, when people does things like this uh, of course there is those who, who, who do w much worse things like uh, like uh, with with children and things like that, that just don't those ones that do these kind of things to children, for instance, they sh they don't even deserve to go to jail. Those men that do th these kind of things to children should should have their dicks cut it. You know, just just cut their dicks. You know, ah, oh, now try to harass and try to violate another another kid again. You won't do it anymore. And that, you know, I know this is radical, but that's kind of things that should happen. But anyway, a good, that's a good thing, a good news, and I hope that this serves as lesson for to avoid people like this guy in the future to do things like that. Okay, so... Uh, uh, this brings uh, something to the future and uh, teach people not to do this anymore. So, guys, don't you forget, uh, I have the vlog uh, later tonight, so I hope to see you there in my social media. See you soon. Cheers.